Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you guys can see from the title and from the thumbnail that I will be doing the Afro puffs, the two puffs at the top. If you guys watched my last video, you guys saw that I had did the slick back ponytail with the afro puff all the way to the back so if you guys have not watched that video yet go ahead and check that out i will leave a link at the top right here and so let's just go ahead and get this video started so for this video i do have the same um products that i'll be using to uh, complete this look i have my water i have my hair lotion i have some gel um i know in my last video that I said the gel didn't work, but I don't have any jam. I did not go to the store yet. Um, I don't have jam, and so I'll be using the gel again and then just using the edge control right after. Got my brush and my comb. So see if I can get these partings straight because look I do not have a mirror in the back of my head so we're gonna try our best to get this part straight down the middle I am trying to use my camera as a mirror to part the back of my head and y'all see that it was definitely a struggle I don't know why I don't know if it's just me but parting your hair down the middle is one of the hardest things for me like it is not that easy getting a straight line down the middle of your head like you're definitely gonna have to have some patience for this because I'm telling you I tried to part so many times before I actually got it perfect. We just gonna have to work with this because look, if it's off, it's off, whatever, whatever, whatever. Start off with the back with just um, brushing it out and then work my way to the front. My hands hurt, my arms hurt. <sighs> Alright, so now I am about to attempt to put this side into a ponytail. Man, that first attempt was so hard. Just trying to bring all my hair together was a lot of work. Like my hands was hurting, my arms was hurting. But now I'm about to I'm trying again, as you guys can see. This is the gem I'm using over the gel. I just added, not the gem, but the edge control. Oh my gosh, how do you do this without your hands not hurting? How do y'all do this? Nah, but what I should have did on a serious note was use the same method that I did in the last video and maybe my hands and my arms wouldn't be hurting right now. And with that method, what I did was I took a little bit of hair at a time, putting it in ponytails until I got all of my hair into one ponytail. So with this, I would have just started in the middle with one small ponytail and then parted around that small ponytail and then did another one, bringing more hair into the middle until I got all of the outside hair into one ponytail. 
But here I am trying to prove to myself that I can still put my hair in a ponytail without using that method. Sectioning off your hair is key to this process. I'm telling you, it, if you want the best results, the flatness, all of that, section off your hair and detangle it to get the best results. And be patient with this process. Do not rush this process. Be patient. Man, dealing with natural hair is definitely a workout. I'm telling you, if I had to do it with my head every day, I'm telling you, I would be swole right now. First of all, is this the middle? No, it's not. Alright, try this again. Still not even like this side must just be longer or something. I don't know. I'm about to just lay this down for a sec. I'm just gonna come back to it. Alright. Sweet. Alright. Here's Afro Puff number one. play with it a little bit because I don't know why this one looks bigger. Maybe I need to bring it to the front some. You really just have to play around with the hair and just form it and reposition it to your liking. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I also grabbed some Barbie pants and added those to my hair just to make it stick where I want the hair to be laid down. I don't even want to show you the back of my head because I don't even want to embarrass myself. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna come a little closer. I look like a little kid. But it's cute though. So as you guys can see, I have went ahead and put another binder around these Afro puffs and I wanted to give it just a little bit more of a natural look so it's not so round. And so let me know what y'all think. Like, I think I like both styles, but let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all like it the other way, if y'all like it this way, or if y'all like it this way. Let me know in the comment section. And also, if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. I will catch you all on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.